Now to add actual links to your web page, you would just click on wherever you want to do it, add the text. So it's going to say my university. And once I highlight it, I have this little link box in the properties where I can type in the link I want to link to. So in this case, I'm going to link to an outside site. I'm going to leave the target the same, but if I was linking to a PDF or something I wanted to open to a new page, I would actually hit blank. But in this case, I'm going to undo that. I'm not going to actually have that on, but it's still there. So I'm going to jump up here and just get rid of that. So now I could also click over here if I wanted to, I could go down here and this, align this up top. That looks good. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to preview it. So now I can see my link when I click on it. It goes to a new page. But say if I wanted to get back to it, I'd have to hit the back button. So that's why if it's a PDF or if it's, especially if it's, linking to something outside of your website and you don't want your users to leave and have to use the back button you would actually use the target blank and that's going to open as a new window I go back to here and hit refresh now when I click on it it's going to open a new window and so then I would just have to close this window to get back to my website now to link to another page you basically first have to create a s another page. So I'm going to save this as second page, just as an example. It's not a great name. Now, if I close this and I go back to my home page, if I type, oops, see it's carrying that link over more. So I'll do a hard return, second page. I highlight that, go down here, rather than typing it in, if I click on this, I'll browse for file. I can actually browse for my file and hit OK. You can see just like that, it's creating the page exactly the way I want to. Sometimes, if, to help keep myself straight, I will even type into each page the text so I know exactly what it is. You can always look at the index and tell, but it's helpful. So I'm going to go open up that second page again. And so if I could do the same thing, link to home page. And I'm going to type second page just so I know the difference. Hit save. And in the second page, I should really call the title different. here I'm going to refresh I click second page I can see I'm on my home page I click second page it brings me to second page if I click link home it brings me back and so that's how easy it is to link to different web pages back and forth